Welcome to the Trades and Builders Business Program. So one of the areas in business that we have to know really, really well is the money or the financial side of things. To actually access money, we need to have a great credit score. Now today, one of the presenters we've got with us is Lawrence Barlow from Credit Reboot. And thanks for joining us, Lawrence. You're thanks for having me, Moss. You're welcome. And look, you're going to take us through what I would say, is it a good or a bad thing to actually shop around for credit and how should I do it or not do it? Yeah, well, we're told the narrative, the media narrative is you need to shop around for credit, make sure you get the best terms and the best rates. But you do definitely need to be very careful. Remember that a credit score is not your credit file. So a credit score is a number that's between 1 and 1,200, 1,200. And um, if you've got a good score, you'll get a good interest rate and you'll get some good terms. If your score is not so good, then you're going to be paying way more interest, or in fact, your loan may be declined. So if you don't have, uh, if your credit file is largely clean, but your score's not very good, what that will mean is it means there's probably a lot of credit inquiries on your screen for shopping around with credit. So you need to be very careful. Quite often, um, when you shop for credit, you put in, you click the terms and conditions on the website, and what will happen is that credit provider will immediately check your file they'll leave a footprint on your file and that will affect your score somewhere between 100 points to 50 points depending upon whether it's a mainstream lender or perhaps more of a payday lender a payday lender you'll lose more points than you would with a mainstream lender and it's a real trap that people fall into uh, we occasionally get calls from uh, ladies that have been shopping for you know, for credit with a Chardonnay at one in the morning and they're clicking through different sites and they'll call us in a couple of weeks and say, hey, I had a great credit score. And then all of a sudden it's in the toilet. The problem is they've clicked on too many, I agree to the terms and conditions without really understanding that that will leave a footprint on their credit file and will definitely affect their score. So you need to be careful. So uh, I suppose the other thing, they do that and uh, they've, they've clicked on a few things and their, their score's been affected. How long do they have to wait for because before it moves up again? Is it six months or how long? Yeah, it's, it can be there for two years. Uh, we can get rid of those credit inquiries fairly quickly. There's a couple of legal loopholes that are not dealt with in the terms and conditions that we use to have those removed. Once they're removed, there's no fingerprints or footprints left on your file and your score will immediately improve once uh, a credit file uh, has been, or once a credit inquiry has been removed. So you've got a lot of um, knowledge and procedures in place, but how are you going to prevent them again from getting drunk and actually clicking on the buttons again? <laughs> Well, I guess that's largely up to them. But I think if, you, uh, if you're going to shop around for credit, there are definitely credit providers out there that make a clear point of saying uh, we will not, and the credit providers can do this. They can have a look at your file without leaving a footprint on your file. And yeah. that's a good idea. If you're going to be shopping around, make sure you have a look at those types of inquiries. The other, there's other strategies that we can talk about uh, uh, later on if you like miles that'd be great so look thanks for your time lawrence and i know you, your website if people want to go and have a look is creditreboot.com.au and your 1300 number 1300 361 879 thanks for your time we'll see you in the next video